Hello. Hello. Beautiful day it is. Um, so I tried to go live yesterday, but village people were at work. <laughs> so I am live today. All right. So this day, this beautiful day, um, just a quick look at how the diluents um, affect the use of ingredients. Uh, what's the word? Yeah, affect the use of ingredients in different products um, formula. So there are different uh, fragrance per. There are different fragrance products. Um, everything that smells, that has smell or has fragrance, is a fragrance product. So you um, wipes uh, fragrance products, creams, um, soaps, liquid soap, um, and otherwise, um, lotion tissue yes they have fragrance fragrance to tissue um perfumes home fragrances space scenting products all of that as far as it has scent in it it is a perfume product it means that there has been um, perfume concentrate made to be used in that product all right so how do um how does the different diluent that they come in or that they are diluted in affect the final products that you are creating so first off what is a diluent a diluent is a solvent that is used a diluent or solvent diluent solvent their words are inter interchangeable so the are uh, materials that are used to dilute of course from the word dilute dilute diluent that are used to dilute um, ingredients. Now, some ingredients need, it's not I want to or I don't want to, some of them need to be diluted because one, they may be too expensive. Uh, um, materials, perfume ingredients generally are quite expensive. Yeah. Perfume ingredients generally are quite expensive. So you would definitely have to hygiene your you definitely have to um you definitely have to dilute these ingredients for you to be able to use them and not waste the um the price and not waste the ingredients you know because i mean it's so pricey imagine that you buy out a uh, um say rose for say 250 dollars for 10 ml an assumption but it's quite expensive say 250 dollars for 10 ml 250 dollars right now is about 125,000 i think or 150 there about with the current exchange rate so if you're buying 10 ml ingredient raw ingredient at that price now when you dilute it at 10 percent dilution it will give you 100 ml um it will give you 100 ml uh diluted rose absolute that's a raw 10 ml rose um absolute pure rose absolute undiluted neat material if you're going to use that when you dilute it to give you a 10 percent depends on what percentage you decide to dilute it at 20 percent will probably give you 50 ml 10 percent to give you 100 5 percent to give you um i think 200 i think all right so why do so this that's one reason why we dilute ingredients now the second reason why we dilute ingredients would be because some of them are very powerful especially the the um the synthetics the aroma chems they are quite powerful and because they are really really powerful they can take you out now your they can take out your nose when you perceive them neat now this is an example of a diluted material this is bay west indies all right this came as a 10 ml um neat ingredient and i have diluted it here to about 15 ml this is just 1.5 ml of the um bay west indies that is actually here the rest is um ipm isopropyl menstruate so this is 10 percent dilution 10 percent dilution of bay west um indies now bay west indies if you use it directly it's quite heavy it's not heavy it's quite strong and might take over not my it will take over um will take over your what do you call it now it will take over your uh, formula so you don't want that you want to be able to dilute it to use it um you know gradually to use it in a way that would make sense in the formula that would 
um, builds the formula okay so that's one that's two three the third reason why we dilute is to be able to open up that fragrance that um, ingredient rather some ingredients are best when they are diluted so when they're diluted you're able to perceive all parts of the ingredients you you understand it better you're perceiving every single part of the ingredient you know okay it has this undertone that undertone hint of this hint of that especially if it um if it is a base like it has been synthetically put uh, um, created you know so especially that but even uh, even even for naturals even for naturals even for naturals um when you dilute the ingredients it opens up really good it opens up really really good and you're able to perceive all the different parts so that's why those are the three reasons or the three reasons for now that we dilute um materials now the different ingredient diluents that are used in perfumery you have um alcohol ethanol is like the most popular diluent in perfumery ethanol because it's also the cheapest at least here in nigeria um outside nigeria you need um a license an alcohol license to get alcohol so you cannot just walk into any store walk into anywhere and get alcohol you need a license and that's why most perfumes abroad for smaller creators are oil-based perfumes i mean it's easier to even sell worldwide um because if you're going to create something with alcohol apart from the fact that you're getting a license for alcohol shipping alcohol products worldwide is a huge headache you know there are only very very few maybe even just one or two um logistics companies company logistic companies that would um ship your products worldwide so it's just best for them to use oil based to make oil based um, perfumes so it's in all worldwide is like the cheapest form of or cheapest diluent that is used that's one it and all and then we have dpg dipropyl glycol is another cheap it's not cheap another diluent that is used it's not expensive all right but it's not as cheap as um it and all so it dipropyl glycol is another diluent that is used in perfumery and also a very popular diluent now most companies if you're buying um anywhere around the world if you're buying ingredients around the world a lot of companies have their products diluted in dpg now you can buy those products neat if you want but the thing is that most of these ingredients are actually very expensive as neat materials so if you're just starting out and you are just experimenting it's advisable that you buy out products that are already diluted they are cheap slightly cheaper and it takes off the work from you to start doing the dilutions and having um um, um what do you call them bottles everywhere all right so and, they are, and of course they're cheaper so you can use that to experiment before you now start buying out neat materials and diluting yourself and all of that but how does this affect your final products i'll talk about that um what can you use that product that is diluted in dpg and what can you use it in and what can you not use it what fragrance product can you use it in and what fragrance product can you not use it in i'll talk about that now so that's dpg then there's the dep um that's also i'm um, i don't okay yeah it is still very useful it is still very very well used in perfumery but not as much as dpg all right then there's the um, ipm ipm is another very um well used diluent in perfumery that you can also use to dilute your materials um so you can decide to use that especially if you're making perfumes or you're making or you're buying products that you want to use across board all right dpg might not be very very advisable if you're buying setting if you're buying products for setting um um fragrance product like if you're buying fragrance products for home fragrances if you want to create diffusers and um, oil blends and all of that dpg may products that are diluted in dpg may not be very advisable however if the product is if the product you're looking for is only diluted in dpg on the site of the you know where you're buying from that's fine then you can of course go ahead and buy it. you don't have a choice but if there are other choices like um, ipm by all means buy out products that are diluted in ipm the reason like i already said is you can use it across board you can use it for products in candles you can use it for products in diffusers or, or home fragrances or space scenting products you can use it for products in um um 
perfumery you can use it for perfume products you can use it for products um for cosmetic products you can use it you know across board so that's like for me personally this is a personal opinion ipm would be like the um um best bet for you to buy products if you're diluting again it's not um as cheap it's not it's not cheap all right so products in ipm may be products that are diluted in ipm may be a little more expensive than products that are diluted in ethanol that's standard all right now another product another diluent would be tec triethyl citrate um triethyl citrate is another good one that can be used across board it is not flammable now the major reason why you cannot use um a material that is diluted in alcohol for certain products is the fact that okay like if you want to use if you want to use um, a fragrance that is diluted in alcohol for making candles <sighs> that's something that you don't want, even want to try i mean you're going to blow up people's homes and blow up, you might even blow up yourself um you know <laughs> in testing it so that's not something you want to consider um if it's not something you want to it's not something you want to try i personally would not want to try it just the thought of it it may be possible I, I, i'm not saying you can't try it may be possible personally i don't even want to try imagine having an ingredient that is diluted in alcohol alcohol and then you're using it in a, uh, a candle fragrance oh uh, yeah fragrance candle no 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 i wouldn't advise but if that's what you want to do test and see and come and tell us everything in perfumery is experimental so tec tec also can be used across board um I don't know if there's at this point right now I cannot say and I don't know for sure if there's any fragrance products that would that TEC would hinder that the, that um, TEC would hinder its performance because the, mo the the important thing is that for diluents um, why you cannot use DPG in certain products is that it would hinder it, the performance of that product all right so if you are making a certain a particular or a kind of fragrance uh, product and you use fragrances or ingredients that are diluted in dpg depending on what you're doing if it's perfume no problem there are other fragrance products that it would hinder their ability to perform or not not so much but it would still um, be a factor you know and it would reduce their ability to perform very very well so that's the major reason why you should check and confirm the different diluents that have been used to to dilute the ingredient before you buy it dependent on what you yourself are creating what fragrance product you yourself are creating there's also benzyl benzoate benzyl benzoate um, you would see diluted in bb if you're buying products that are diluted in benzyl benzoate you will see it's it's it, you know they're all they're all listed it says diluted in ipm diluted in dpg diluted in ethanol diluted in tec diluted in bb once you see diluted in bb you know that it is diluted in benzyl benzoate all right so that's another thing that you can use another diluent it's not very it's used it's used but it's not very common it's let's say common not very not common it's not very it's not often used i think dpg is like the most popular one and the one that is very often um used so it's important that as you're creating your fragrance products you check which ones work which ones um what fragrance product you're creating and you know what diluent or solvent you prefer that your ingredients come in or if you're diluting your ingredients yourself what products you prefer that your ingredients come in all right um if you're making things like you know home fragrances alcohol is really not not your best you can use it well it depends on what you're creating let me not you know blow out your candle <laughs> it depends on what you're creating at the end of the day so when you're buying the the, the, the major takeout here is that when you're buying your ingredients and it's already diluted if if you're making just perfumes then i think any form of dilution not i think any form of dilution, if it's just perfumes that you're creating any form of dilution rather any diluent that is used would be just okay all right but if you're making other products candles um essential oils um home fragrances space scenting products wipes you know and the rest of them fragrance tissue cosmetics uh makeup cream and all of that you need to confirm 
in what diluent, um, in what solvent or diluent your ingredient has been diluted in and if you can afford to just buy it out neat so that you have control over the diluent that goes into it then best for you if you can afford to buy it out buy all the products neat go ahead and buy them out neat if you cannot afford to buy the product neat and you're just starting out confirm 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 the, the solvent that is used that has been used to um dilute the material all right but if you buy if you can afford to buy all the products all the ingredients out neat and then dilute them yourself so that you have um exact um, control over the dilution process and the solvent that you're using to dilute it and if you buy out meat it's important that you don't dilute everything at once it's important that you see if you buy, buy out it a 10 ml meat ingredients you might want to just dilute one percent in another 10 ml bottle and then you leave nine ml so that you can decide to you know have them in different solvents you can decide to have them in dpg ipm and ethanol so that if, depending on what fragrance products you want to create you can now pick out whichever one that works for you all right i hope this information and this um this life has been very very helpful if you would like to um take a perfume making course or learn more on perfumery send me a message at the perfume madam um call me up and let's start your journey if you would like to um start your fragrance or home, fragrance business by home scenting products not home not just home all scent all space scenting products if you want to start your own space scenting pro uh, a business you know home fragrances and all of that go to the perfume madam.com and start today you can get 30 percent discount to this july it ends on saturday you can get 30 percent discount to pay twenty five thousand naira between now and 31st of july is it 31st or 30th of july the end last day of july sha. so you get 30 percent use the code discount code diffuser in capital letters diffuser in capital letters to get that discount code all right diffuser in capital letters to get that discount code to get that discount rather so that you can pay twenty five thousand naira between today and saturday and if there's any other thing that you need any other information that you need and all of that send me a message and um we'll take it up from there have a great day